Hello everybody, Brios here And for you guys today, I have one of the In fact, this might be the very best all-round light mech in the game And if you're not familiar with this chasey Well, let me introduce you to Mr. Pringles Or rather, he looks skinnified But let me introduce you to the 30 ton clan Omnimech, the Kid Fox This particular variant, which is really just goddamn good Is the hero mech version of this, the Purifier Which comes with a 30% C build bonus and if you're not familiar with Hero Max, they bring in unique hard points. Being an Omnimac, you can swap the components around, which is really done good also. And the Purifier has two energy hard points per side torso. And they are high mounted above the cockpit, as you can see. And that makes all the difference. Able to heal harm, fire them without exposing most of your mech, making this a pretty deadly opponent on the field. And not only is it have, does it have good mounts, it also has ECM, which I'll share about the exact build later. And it also jumps, giving it a good blend of mobility, firepower, ECM, and great hard points. And I just love this pattern. So let's get down to the build. So one of the most common and one of the best builds all around, like I said, of course, SRM builds will do a lot more damage. Um, but one of the best all around builds is the 6 ER medium laser purifier. Two per side torso using the purifier side torsos. The ECM goes to the golf left arm, the G variant left arm. One ECM there and the S right arm for two energy hard points. It has 16 double heating which gives it really good heat dissipation. And with the Kit Fox S left and right leg, we have a total of 4 jump jets, so you can move at a speed of 97.2 and have 4 jump jets for mobility. And in fact, I also want to mention that if you are interested in this particular build, the one of the most worth it in terms of cash, if you consider that worth it, is the Clan Light Max Starter Pack, which is for $14.99 US, you get the Kit Fox Purifier. You also get 6.5 million C builds, which allows you to buy these weapons and the components, the arms and the licks. And you also get 100 GSP, so you can instantly skill this mech up. And this mech, well, it doesn't have much quirks, but the quirks are good enough. In fact, if you look at the quirks here, it has a laser duration quirk of minus 5%. So the lasers burn a bit shorter time, allowing you to do, deal the damage and move away. It also has armor skills for the arms so they don't fall off too easily 20 points they do stick out quite a lot the arms to be honest and it has structure hard uh, structure skills in the various components 15 in the ct six per side torso and seven per leg structure allowing it to soak a lot of heat damage of course don't overheat too much but it can soak some and talking about heat it also has a heat dissipation quirk of plus 7.5 so it dissipates the heat pretty darn fast 7.5% um, above the usual and with 16 double heat things it dissipates well fast as it is so it runs pretty darn cool if you can manage it properly and let's get on to the skills so as I was mentioning skills also make this mech also really good so for this particular build I've got five nodes of cooldown allowing you to fire just 3% faster just a bit helps full range and full heat gen gives you 50 percent range boost to the ERB medium lasers for a total range of about 460 meters. Heat gen skills to reduce the heat generation by 8.4%. Always important for laser vomit builds. And talking about laser vomit, with the laser duration skills, I've got 10% plus 5% from the quirk for a total of 15% reduction in the laser duration, allowing you to fire weapons the burn time, that means the lasers take a while to deal the damage, is reduced by 15%, allowing you to deal the damage, reposition, and minimize exposure to the enemy. Really important. Moving on to survival, I've gotten quite a lot, full structural density, and full armor hardening, which gives me quite a lot because it is above and beyond the quirks. So 24% armor boost and 39% structure helps a lot in, well, soaking heat because it also has structure quirks in the side torsos and center torso. So this also buffs that. Moving along to jump jets, with 4 jump jets and high bounce, you will love to get lift speed. So with 5 nodes of lift speed, it boosts the initial jump trust by 15%. Really important because you get the initial boost, you can show your weapons, shoot them and drop back into cover, minimizing exposure of your mech, taking less damage. I also got heat shielding because, well, I realized I do jump quite a lot in this build. So 5 nodes of heat shielding reduces the heat generated by the jump jets by 30%. So allowing me to jump, fire, jump, fire, keep repeating it until I have done a lot of damage or I reach my maximum heat, upon which I reposition and cool down. And talking about cooldown, what rhymes with cool is 
cool, of course. So five notes of cool run for additional 10% heat dissipation combined with the quirk that's 17.5% boost to the heat dissipation. And with I said 16 double heat sinks, it generally dissipates pretty fast as it is already. Moving along to sensors, uh, with the ECM, you want to get both nodes of enhanced ECM. And with them, you, if you stay about 350 to 400 meters away from the closest enemy, uh, you don't appear on their minimap. And this, sometimes we call it Jesus Box. Because, well, no Dorito, no Shotiro. Whatever that means. Anyway, moving along to Auxiliary. 10 notes for 2 strikes because I love my strikes. And 2 cool shots with the cool shot cooldown to fire the second one 25% faster. And with the cool shot and the cool shot cooldown, this makes it a fast firing, fast heat dissipating build. And yeah, you can deal a lot of damage before you need to, well, cool down. So that's it, ladies and gents. That is the Kit Fox Purifier, 6 ER medium laser build. If you are not going to use this, be prepared to face this enemy on the battlefield pretty darn often. So anyway, let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you Mr. Pringles in action. So let's go. So here I am on the ever popular Canyon Network map for the very first showcase match. And I'm in Bravoland, which is full of fast moving lights and mediums. So we're going to vroom along the right side and hopefully we don't NASCAR. Um, but I'm going to try to get to Charlie 5, Charlie 6 area to deny the enemy that position, which is really good for sniping. And in the meantime, find targets and direct fire from the flanks. Hopefully we don't start a NASCAR and yeah, that's always a problem in this particular game mode and map. Just hold maybe Delta 5. Yeah, giving a grid so hopefully the team doesn't NASCAR. Most of the time targets are here, Charlie 4. Uh, light pack, we got Gravel. Oh, there's more than one. And friends. Please pop the UAV, so I'm gonna fall back a bit. Yeah, could you guys get it please? Light pack is engaging. Yeah, one Hanji here, heavy gauze. But he has multiple targets. Going for his right torso, which is where the gauze is. Oh, there's really a lot here. Look at the right side. Time to fall back, I think. Or use this to read as cover. Bravo left also, Charlie 4. Yeah, hopefully the, the, in Charlie 4. hopefully the team comes up to support. Because the enemies in Charlie 4 low are really bad position. So I'm gonna press them a bit. All those with me, shoot the Hunchies. Yeah, focus fire is always good. So hopefully, pe hopefully people listen. Yeah, they are falling back, but our team is holding Echo Five, which is like Bravo spotted. Okay, rather Delta Five, which is okay. So the problem is, hopefully Bravo lands. My land doesn't NASCAR too far forward. Okay, yeah, Bravo in great trouble. Piggy gets him. Where's the heal? Light mech. Need assistance. Yep, okay. Echo there. 5, Echo 5. <laughs> yeah, I've got a call for help. I was waiting. Support out here. Go if, if you're gonna call for help, give the grid. We Echo don't know five. where we don't know where here is. So that's the call for the L Bravo Lance to fall back. Otherwise you'll NASCAR. Like these two mediums on my right. Alright, Charlie's in a bad position. Left torso. We have a nice firing line in Delta 5. Delta 4, everybody. Delta 4. I like to give a grip for people to look at and just shoot there. If you look at the minimap, we already have a friend zooming along in Delta 3, one of my lance mates. I think he'll die pretty fast. But maybe if he's lucky, he'll flank. Get some good shots in. I'm just going to use the right arm of my kick fox here. Yep. So right corner peeking. Orion is half Delta 4. Yeah, they are not playing well, the enemy team, very passive. Target spotted. Trying to trade with my whole team acquired. here. Got more line for Delta 5. This position is pretty strong. Five line, high ground is a good place. Krill, going down. Echo. Look at the map, shoot stuff please. Yeah, lots of the enemy on my left in the low ground. That's a terrible position. Time to press. Push into Charlie 4 if you can. There are a few stuck below. New target like Echo. Acquired. Yeah. Then terrible position. Outflanked. New target acquired. Team. My team still a bit passive. Some are still in weird positions, acquired. not shooting. Look at this kilo. This di dive with left. Target CT. 
Die a city. This die and it takes a while for people to engage you. Die one more shot. Running a bit hot, so not being overly aggressive on my part. New target acquired. Just taking the opportunity to pick out a cover. Watch out Delta 5 in our rear. Two max, one is an assault. Juliet. Negative. Charlie 5. Really left so those on 5 line are pushing really hard. 7-4? Oh now 8-4. Well we more or less have this. So as you can see the mobility of this mech is really good. Allowing me to peek, shoot and fall back into cover. The high mounts help a lot also. So 9-5. I haven't got any kills yet. I've done quite a bit of damage I would like to think. Sometimes it's lit it. Oh, ah, damn it, I thought that was my kill. So anyway, game is more or less won. 3 cap points for us, 10-5. Up on points, 400 plus versus their 300. Enemy is just trying to get as much damage as they can. Just as I'm trying to get a kill. Come back here, Incubus. That's a pretty good Incubus also. 6 era mediums. Oh, no. Ah, uh, Chrome gets him. Whatever his name is. Anyway, 11-5. Last one. Where could it be? Target acquired. Yeah, it's always a shadow cat. There he is. Eyeball Mark 1 spots him, even despite his ECM. Eyeballs are the best sensors, by the way. Heat vision gives you better contrast. I still have a bit of armor at my left leg. So I'm gonna be a bit more aggressive. Need the charge. Brave words for a man chasing the last mech down, you know? Kind of stuff. 6v1 right now. So anyway, um, in such a situation, it's kind of irritating. But you gotta predict his movement. There he is. So he's heading to he's Fox, Fox 4. His leg is open. Fox 4 in the open. He'll probably head to the right towards Fox 3. Yep. Bet you he'll drop down. We got a friendly cicada going to the left. So I'll go to the right. Check out the little hole here. Low signal. Yeah, there he is. Heishi. Pretty fresh actually. Uh, Bravo Lens goes in. Heishi gets another kill by this leg. Getting his left leg, but no. Not enough. Nope. And he goes down. Oh well. 12 7 at least is not a stop. Pretty good fight. And not too much damage to me. So that's a pretty good performance, I would like to say. Good team performance, also good aggression ultimately. 900 damage, only 1 KMDD, but I touched everybody. Lots of Seabills, 700 over 1000. Conquest gives the most. Yeah, I'd have all the bonuses, you know. Hero Mag, Tournament. And wow, surprisingly high match score of 670. So that last match did showcase the versatility of this build using the combination of mobility, high mounts, and the medium range of the ER mediums to basically just hit and fade away. And yep, topping the team in terms of damage. But right now we are on Vitrix Station. And even though most people say the top is strong, and, and it is, um, you can move to the side like me. I'm right now moving to the right side so I can hit the enemy from the flanks. So many options on this map and that's why I think it's pretty darn good. So anyway, with the medium range, I'm going to shift in a bit closer to the center and look for some targets. Target target acquired. And there's the first target. It's a Vulcan, probably Snubbies, trying to capture Theta. Target yep, spotted. it is. Heat vision, like I said, gives me better contrast. Got to be wary of the top, the trench and the center. That's something about Vitric. Got to be really aware of the situation. Target One target acquired. at range, got a Artillery nice burn strike. on him. Target Outside spotted. optimal though. Target Is he still acquired. there? Yep. It's a Zeus. Yeah, he remembers where I was. <laughs> I picked from the same spot. Level Not the best. Delta 4, Charlie 4. We got Zeus and a few others in the low ground. Yeah, but hopefully he'll push in. Try to the get trench. this. Roger. Trying to get my poor little cute kid fox. Yep, Charlie 4. So this position suits me, this ramp. I've got high mounted ER mediums and two in the right arm. New target so acquired. I'm not exposing much when I shoot. But still it's a light mech. Don't really need to draw too much aggro. Those shots are outside optimal. But the target best traits are when it's pretty isolated. Legs are weak, catapult. The best traits are when you do damage and they deal none. Acquired. Oh, this Zeus is out of position. He's way too forward. Oh, look at the catapult, Charlie, YOLOing in. Target spotted. 
time to shift to the left and try to get this New kill. Target acquired. Need assistance. Theater is hot. Affirmative. Yeah, lots of mechs. Gonna fall back a bit. A good start. Always take your time. Never any need to really rush. Ah, that Vulcan's cord. That shot way out of range. Target spotted. So they're moving on the opposite line, Charlie line. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Yep, that catapult. You look too far forward. New target Fight this entator. One raven there. I see you. Protocol. New target acquired. I can take a bit of his medium. I think those are medium lasers. Level that Vulcan is caught. Charlie for Vulcan is open. Yeah, the Vulcan is caught. I think I can get him. Shut down. Got to shut down. Way too hot. Do note when you shut down, all your heat goes to your heat damage goes to CT, and it's less useless information. But I don't think everybody knows that. When you are overheating and soaking heat damage, it goes everywhere. But if you shut down, it's reduced and only to CT. Yep. Anyway, Charlie Ford, they are two Hellbringers. You guys actually have to shoot. Thank New target you. acquired. I'm yeah, trying to get my team to shoot. Team is. Oh, I got him, Alpha. That was the Vulcan. Yeah, I'm trying to get the team to fight. Let's look at the minimap. There's some in Delta 5, some in Charlie 4. And the enemy is stuck in the middle here, but we're not pressing them at Theta. We even have some people all the way in the rear. Charlie 2. Wow. Anyway, just focus on my own gameplay. Dueling with the Hellbring. Pop tutting a bit. New target acquired. Target spotted. Just wondering where that Raven is. He's probably still up there. Farming damage. Ooh. Ken Quinn in the Dowbreaker. Left also is open. Target spotted. Rifleman Delta up high. Charlie Tree. Yep. He's got a good angle on us, guys. He's got a good angle New on me. Acquired. I'm gonna move away. Target, target destroyed. If you look at the minimap, I'm New trying to stay with my acquired. team right in the middle. Can we clear Charlie 4? They're throwing New the match now. Acquired. Yeah, this dervish is right for the taking. Target spotted. Push through the spotter makes a dervish to Charlie 4. Need assistance. Trying to get my team to move up. We're way too passive, even though we have the advantage. There. Our Need assistance. Target spotted. Echo then Charlie 4. Yeah, we should be just rolling over Echo here, but it's taking a long time. Target destroyed. Enemy team as a result New are crawling back. Acquired. It is 7 6. Closer than it should be. One enemy above me somewhere. Gotta be really careful. There he is. Target acquired. That's the core Zeus from the beginning. Target Trying to pop that a bit. No. Acquired. It's a fresh Kill Kintaro. Kilo drop left also. Streaks. Charlie tree. So I've gotta be careful. Ah, oh, that's probably the Kintaro. Full defensive gameplay here. Twisting, trying to reach the cover. Jumping a bit. And I made it to safety. He will push me though. I bet you has armlock on, so flying high. And I'm lucky. Thanks for the kill on the Kintaro. Henry gets him. <laughs> Always have a plan to fall back. Yep, so my plan was just Charlie tree low. Fall back to cover. And yeah, that worked. Almost died though. Street boats are still the problem. Up to yeah, there. Nine seven. Very Target close. Acquired. And Mark two gets him. Ten seven. Game is more or less won now. I'm pretty done, caught. I still want the kill, so that's Ken Quinn. Target. I wouldn't worry about the Raven. It's on top. Can you get the rifleman, Charlie Four? That's the last two. Yeah, his side those are caught, but I, I am in no position to fight him. I'll let the Marauder two, the Mac Cat two rather, go up acquired. and get him. Hey, wait a minute, where did he go? He's still there? <laughs> He's looking for the raven. Dude, there's a... well, maybe he got the enemy. Rifleman dead. So anyway, there it is. Target Low signal acquired. shows me the raven drop down. There he is. Tag and mediums, I think. Waiting for him to move because I'm cord. Nope, didn't kill him. Gonna wait for him to come around the corner. There he is. Target Jumping destroyed. to throw his shot and I get him. Yep. I survived. Quite miraculous. 20 plus percent hit points left. And yeah, I was really lucky to survive, especially against the Strict Kintaro charging me. So 793 damage, 2 kills solo, also. 3 KMDDs, almost 700,000 C bills. That's a really nice accumulation of C bills, even though I don't need it. Um, yeah, Conquest is nice. And a nice match score of 6 5 2.
So that's it ladies and gents for this video on the Kit Fox Purifier, one of the best light max around and just an all round joy to play. And you can buy this through the Claire Light Max Starter Pack. But anyway, till next time guys, have fun and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Bye.